Hello everybody, Steve Politi, Keith Sergeant Ryan Dunleavy here at High Point Solution Stadium. A very good effort overall for Rutgers today. Uh, still on the losing end, 14-7 to against Iowa, which I have to say, given the way this team looked on defense at some points during last season and the season before that, it was one of the better defensive performances we've seen in a long time. I think one thing we all said when Chris Ash got hired, he started harping on fundamentals, brought in all these new coaches, the strength from We thought the blowout days were behind Rutgers. The 49-7s and that, that's what we saw today. They were more competitive, they didn't win, they don't have the talent necessarily to compete with a team like Iowa, but they played hard and they played well, and that's kind of what we expect for most of this season, close losses. Right. You, know, you, it's, you say they don't have the talent, in a lot of ways they should have won the game. Yeah. A couple of throws, because Le Leviano had uh, Dewan Harris open for a touchdown, uh, fourth down pitch, if he pitched the ball, probably would have scored. I mean, overall, it's a sense of frustration. Well, I think, Not to make you the negative guy. No, yeah. I think the offensive coordinator, Drew Merringer, said it best. I mean, he said that he wanted to vomit, at, you know, <laughs> leaving so many points on, on the board. You know, one of four inside the red zone, just, right. we, we saw it. I mean, maybe there's things that we could qu question, you know, Chris Ash on, whether or not they should have kicked a field goal down there in the first half. You know, they were right there. This was this game was there for the taking, and they just couldn't get it done. Right, and that's and that's part of it too. Now they're going to face those teams without Janarian Grant, which I mean, Rutgers doesn't have a second. And Robert Martin, maybe but the second playmaker. What I don't know how this offense will function without him. I mean, what what do you think? I mean, just hearing the players in the locker room, it sounded like they were talking about a funeral. Like yeah. we, our prayers are with him, and we hope he's right. it doesn't sound promising. No. I mean, they're gonna put Jay Harris in that spot. Jay Harris has. Made a couple big plays, but he's not Janarian Grant. No one on this team is Janarian Grant. A few players in the Big Ten are Janarian Grant. This offense revolves around Janarian Grant. We've heard the praise. We can't get him the ball enough. Well, now they can't get him the ball at all. So That might have been why uh, Drew Merger wanted to throw up as well. Uh, <laughs> question, one thing I have to question, uh, I, I, I've liked many of Merger's play calls. I didn't like the goal line play call, and I certainly did not like whatever the fourth and two play call yeah. late in the fourth quarter was. Was it looked a little, looked some confusion there. Um, he, he gave the ball to Jawan Harris a couple times. You, you talk about play calling, and even going back to the first half, Robert Martin had, you know, was running the ball really effectively, not getting the ball down there on one of those carries. I know you want to bring in Tyler Node and you give him you know, two, two shots at it, and then maybe third down, uh, Laviano runs the ball. Even fourth down, you know, should it have been Tyler Noden maybe doing that, that, that play, that option type play. So, you know, that, that whole sequence, I, I think there's probably two or three things that you could question. Yeah. And, and then Martin doesn't get the ball either on the fourth and three, Rutgers' last possession. Yeah. They end up handing it to Jawan Harris. Best player. Probably would have been Janarian Grant in that situation right there. They end up giving it to Jawan Harris. Martin doesn't get the touch there. They didn't have a timeout because they had used all their timeouts. That's yes, another minutes. big factor. Absolutely. Absolutely. So they couldn't, get, they couldn't exactly communicate what they wanted, probably, and they don't end up getting it, and then you, they don't get the ball back. At least next week. An easy one, easy W, trip to, trip to Ohio. I forget who's the defensive coordinator there, but he, the name sounds familiar. You know, at least they can bounce back knowing they have that on the schedule.